This is how a normal FAQ design looks like on your website. Pretty boring flat, isn't it? But we are going to turn it into something like this. Looks cool, right? And you can make these kind of stylish looking FAQ sections on your website in no time. Let me show you how. So for the first step, we are going to visit the link given in the video description below and that will take you to our blog post. And if you click on this, it will take you to this download section and here you just need to enter your email address and you will see this download file button. I have already entered my email ID so I'm just getting this download file option. So once you click on this, you will be able to download the zip file and once you extract the zip file, you will find this unstyled FAQ section design in JSON file format. And now we just need to import this into our Divi library. So for that, we come back here in our WordPress backend. We go to Divi and click on Divi library. And here we just need to click on import and go to import section here and choose the file that we have just downloaded. Here it is. Let's select that. And now just click on import and it will take a few seconds and the page will load. And here we have our FAQ section template. If you click on edit and go to edit with Divi Builder, you can see this is how the FAQ section will look like. We have this pretty nice looking background, the border, the rounded corners. And instead of plain boring text, we have these bullet points and we also have a video. Along with that, we also have two call to action buttons. So let me show you how you can create something like this. So from here, you can just simply go ahead and copy this section or we have already imported this into our DV library. So we can import this on any page. Now, just to give you a quick reference, if we go ahead and add a simple accord in here, this is how it's going to look pretty plain text. And we can just simply click on all these elements to add our text. If in case we want to add more accordion item, so we just go to layers. Click on main accordion here and we can add a new item here. So we just need to click on add element and choose accordion item. So this is how we can build up the entire FAQ section. And now comes the interesting part. So let's say we click on this accordion item and under this text, we want to add our list item. So we click on our accordion item here from the layers. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we have an option for elements. And now we can click on add element from here. And we have the list of all the modules in Divi that we can add inside this accordion item. And this is happening because of nested module feature in Divi 5. So let's say we want to add some list. So we search for list icons and we click on this module. And here we have our list in the same way. Let's say we want to add video below this. So we come back here. We click on our main item here. And again, we go to elements and below our icon list, we can add another element. And this time we are going to add a video like this. So we now have a video below our list icons in the same way. We can add another element and this time we are going to add a group. And in this, we are going to add buttons. So if we take a look at the layer section here on the left hand side, we have our group here. And in this, we are going to add button like this. And if we open our group here, we have the button under it and we can simply go ahead and duplicate button. So we now have two buttons and in order to align them in single line, we click on the main group and then we go to design and in layout, we are going to select layout direction, make sure it is set on flex and then we will click on row. And in the justify content, we are going to select right alignment or in end. And this is how it's going to look. Now we have created almost the same kind of design as we have here in our accordion. Now the next step is to style it as per our design requirement. So either you can go ahead and copy style from here or you can customize this look as per your website design. But this is how easy it is to use nested modules and spice up your boring looking FAQ sections on your website. Once again, if you want to use the exact same template, go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. And you can go ahead and start using the same template so that you don't have to start from scratch. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more such free tutorials and freebies, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.